breaking news. The Adamawa state governor, Fintiri, finally breaks silence on the court judgment on PDP elections in Edo State. Hi guys, welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Adamawa state governor, Amadu Umaru Fintiri, has broken his silence on the recent Abuja High Court ruling that nullified the People's Democratic Party's primary in Edo State. Fintiri, who chairs the PDP National Campaign Council for Edo governorship election, expressed optimism that the ruling will be overturned at the Court of Appeal. Speaking at the inaugural meeting of the People's Democratic Party's National Campaign Council on Saturday, Finti retimed the court decision a temporary setback where he urged the council members to remain committed and focus on the tax ahead, adding that winning elections is the ultimate goal in politics. And now the People's Democratic Party who also reacted to this development, noted that uh, the High Court, the Federal High Court in Abuja, voiding the primary elections that produced Aswe Yodalo as its candidate, is just a temporary setback. And according to the court, the exercise that saw Aswe Yodalo as a candidate of the PDP, you know, uh, voided that ground because the 30, because the 300 and it's uh, 378 delegates that were supposed to vote at the primary elections were unlawfully excluded by the People's Democratic Party. Although the party noted that this court verdict is a little setback, as they would definitely appeal uh, to this judgment. They will certainly appeal to this judgment, you know, at the court. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this? The People's Democratic Party for long has expressed its you know its own option that they will surely uh, scale through the pdp has expressed its confidence that in this race in edo state they will emerge victorious with the outstanding performance of uh, the edo state governor obasiki this will just be a little setback but definitely uh, there is nothing that won't be done. They will not leave any stone unturned. They will approach the court of appeal and appeal this judgment. And soon everything will be fine. And they will ensure Asu Yodalo wins the September 21st governorship election in Edo State. So the PDP has eight cases following the Edo State PDP primaries. And the Friday's ruling was the seventh, and hopefully they will appeal all these cases at the court. Although on Aswe Yodalo's part, he noticed and acknowledged that the forthcoming elections isn't going to be an easy one, and there will be a lot of distractions ahead. But she definitely hopes that the PDP will emerge victorious, and everybody would work together to secure the victory of the People's Democratic Party in Edo State. So, Aswe Yodalo remains the PDP candidate, even though the court nullified the Edo PDP primary elections. Aswe Yodalo remains the Edo PDP governorship candidate, despite court orders. The PDP has expressed its, you know, its confidence that they will surely scale through. Also, he urged the council members to remain committed and focus on the tax ahead that winning the elections is the only ultimate goal in politics, especially in Edo State. Now, Governor Fintiri noted how Obasiki has worked and his works are so visible on ground in Edo. His track record, his pre-degree also is enough for people to see, to averse, to use wisely and positively to win the elections. Meanwhile, the PDP National Legal Advisor had clarified that the court did not nullify the party's primary, but rather addressed an issue related to the delegate elections. He assured that out of eight legal challenges faced by the party in Edo State, at least seven of them had been resolved, and the Court of Appeal has established that eternal party matters like delegate selections are not subject to legal challenges. 
they these are not subject to legal challenges that you can easily take them to court no all party eternal uh, matters must be settled within the party and as we Yodalo also acknowledge that all these things are just mere distractions but he will surely scale true although we've been seeing jubilation from the side of the all progressive congress in regards to the court judgments, how they've jubilated, you know, in many parts of Edo, especially in the in the All Progressive Congress, they see these judgments as a positive step, you know, that can uh, ch- they they can use to challenge Aswe Yodalo ahead of the election, and even though the People's Democratic Party has also you know recognized that soon this will pass over. Although some certain persons had carried the news that Aswe Yodalo had been disqualified and will be disqualified as a result of this, um, you know, this court judgment. But this court case and this legal uh, issue is just between the People's Democratic Party and those delegates that did not emerge and that were unlawfully removed. And it's not as if the People's Democratic Party are actually denying that these delegates were were not removed. They acknowledge the fact that these delegates were re- were removed. You know, because the PDP is yet to the to the to the bond claims that these delegates were not removed. They were actually removed, and this seems to be a party uh, affair and should be resolved within the party, not something that you take to court. So that's why Aswe Yodalo's candidacy remains intact. The PDP, you know, uh, campaign structures remain intact, although there have been little uh, glitches, little tensions, little distractions from so many persons who are trying to hinder the chances of the PDP in the state. But it seems that they are focused and they know what they want. And now these are reactions from Nigerians. The PDP come rain, come sun. What is currently going on in the minds of the PDP in Edo State is crying and mourning. The PDP can never win a Edo election in 2024. The PDP and its governorship candidates can never win the governorship election in 2024. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people I'm dropping here, kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.